Do you ever find yourself just wanting to do something so badly? It just keeps pulling you, pulling you to a new relationship or a new activity, a new purpose. Uh, it's called an attraction. When something is stirring your heart, you're like, I just got to do that. I just want to be with that person. You have an attraction. It is pulling you. Now, nobody likes to be pushed, but it's wonderful when you feel an attraction because nothing will stop you from pursuing it. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor, and I've been attracted to the speaking career for many years. I wanted to do it. And the opposite of attraction is distraction. Yeah, sometimes our distractions become excuses not to do what we need to do. And today I have with me, come on, I have a wonderful a distraction with me today. I am babysitting uh, my wonderful grandson and I've been waiting all day to make this video because I wanted to be consistent. And I said, Jewel, you cannot allow distractions to keep you from doing what you need to do. So often in the past, I realized that I would let other people's opinions or the weather or the demands of family or profession or different things would distract me or people would come and say, oh, Jewel, you need to start selling this or Jewel, why don't you come over here? Or, Jewel, let's go here. And I realized that when I was distracted, I became less productive and I became unhappy with myself because I realized I got unfocused. And being focused is so critical to you manifesting what it is that you want to do. So the opposite of a dis of an attraction is a distraction. Don't let the distractions of life, you know, the car accident, the, the dishwasher breaking, uh, the traffic, what other people are saying, an illness, those things are going to happen. You will have distractions that will take you off course for a while, but you have to get right back on course and realize your purpose is calling you. It is you are attracted to it and it won't let you go. You know that book you want to write? And you are attracted to that process, that business you want to start, that relationship you want to start, go ahead and don't be distracted by what other people are saying or doing or what other people think you should be doing. Stay focused. Now, I'm going to be hosting, um, again, my vision board goal shop. It's a powerful way to manifest what you want to see happen in 2020. Isn't that amazing that we're entering into 2020? You want your vision to be so clear that you can manifest, be a co-creator with God. And so I want you to save the day for January the 4th to join me for my next vision board goal workshop. Now, I was looking all over for my uh, vision book because what I did, and not only do I have a vision board, but I put them all into a notebook. I did this in the 80s. I cut out pictures of houses and I now live in the house that looks like the one that's in my vision book. I had traveling, cruise ships. I had all types of things in there. And I'm going to find it in time for our January 4th vision board goal shop. But I'm telling you, it works. And I've had many people in my ministry that have said, Jewel, uh, I did my vision board as you challenged me to do. And I have seen things happen. I remember a comedian named Flip Wilson. He said, what you see is what you get. And it's so true. What you see in your mind's eye, what you focus on, it begins to show up into your life. It's called the law of attraction. So you want to make sure that your mind's eye is focusing on the things that you want to be, to do, and to have. Save the date for January the 4th, 2020, to attend my vision board goal shop. It's going to be in the Los Angeles area. Most likely it will be in Carson, California. We will have that date con confirmed very soon. So stay in touch with me through email or my website or on Facebook, and we will have the location confirmed very soon. But the date is actually confirmed. Saturday, January the 4th for 2020. It looks like somebody's sleepy. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. You sleepy? Okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in today for Kitchen Conversations with Jewel Diamond Taylor. Stay in the light. You want to wave goodbye? You want to wave goodbye? No? Wave goodbye. Throw him a kiss. <laughs>